This week in your weekly upgrade, experience the history of Jamboard like never before. Are you ready to stop the hangouts and just chat? We'll get you ready and we'll keep you modern while you learn about a site to all things necessary for tech. I'm Jordan R, and this is your weekly upgrade. If you can't remember the last time you needed to get out of a sticky situation, for instance, trying to remember what type of jam you used last week, whether it be strawberry, raspberry, or boysenberry, Google's Jamboard can. That's right, Jamboard is now highly equipped with version history. You can see what was added at what time and day by anyone you shared that Jamboard with. Just go into the Jamboard of choice, select the three gray dots, and select version history. You have the option to not only see the history of a jam file, but you can create named versions of a jam file or even restore a previous version of your choice. This provides a new level of accountability, especially when little Timmy decides to draw inappropriate objects that others, including his parents, may deem as a no-no. No-no, little Timmy. No-no. If you haven't heard, winter is coming. Nah, just kidding. Hopefully the snow has subsided and spring is in the air, but I will say that Google Chat is coming. If you've been using Hangouts to chat with all your colleagues and students, this is a friendly heads up that the OCDSB will be fully switching over. When will the time and day of this switch happen? That news is coming soon to a screen near you. I would highly recommend checking a Google Chat so you can see the differences and the similarities between the two. Don't fret, Google Chat will automatically switch all your single and group conversations you had on Hangout Land and make them accessible on this new chat platform. So, why the switch? I'm glad you asked. First, Google Chat has more functionality, like creating rooms instead of groups, where you can add threads to different topics from within the same room. Second, instead of just adding in your timely bitmoji or pic to your convo to get that much needed laugh you needed to get through the day, you can now add in any file type you'd like from your device or even directly from Google Drive. Lastly, you can now edit text after you type and enter it. So if it's your or your mistake, or if you're ready to lose or loose your mind, you'll always sound smart. I am smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-T. Looking at how to use Screencastify to make GIFs? Are you using the portfolio app in the VLE? and need to know how to respond to the pics your students take of their work? Or maybe you have no idea what I've just said and you're still working on getting that ladder safety training certificate. Either way, your resource hub for all your classroom applications, whether virtual or bricks and mortar, are housed here on the Modern Learning website. It's found on the OCDSB staff portal under staff resources. Just select Modern Learning. From here, you can select your preferred LMS and see all the resources it has to offer. We have all the details to our office hours and videos on previous workshops. It's also where future registration for workshops can be found too. It's a one-stop shop that is always being updated with all your upcoming apps and tech. You can also just check the link in the description of this YouTube video to start learning in a modern and wonderful way. The future is now. Well, that's it for today's weekly upgrade. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay in the know and never miss an episode. Stay safe and stay awesome.